So aside from that ending, which that ending was hype as shit, I was excited at the very end when Sanji clashes into Doflamingo, like, don't fuck with my friends, going in with that fucking blazing kick, which was epic. Aside from that, the rest of this episode, it just felt like, whoa, what are you doing, Toei? Between some of the animation where I was like, they dropped the ball big time with this episode. Nami literally looked like a Flash figure coming out of the scene sometimes and just like moving around looking stiff and weird. It looked like Flash animation at certain points. And aside from that, just barely anything happened with this week's episode. I mean, you got Rebecca fighting a bunch of fodder. They made sure to pat up them big old titties so they look like she's like 40 years old or 20 years old and she's only 16. So we got that. <laughs> then you also have Filler with Cavendish fighting this dude with the spear and it was just like they added in fuckloads of in canon filler in this episode and i'm imagining that we better brace ourselves for the storm of what's about to happen because with oda taking all these breaks in the manga the anime is going to have a lot more of this in canon filler and i could totally see it coming there was really three things with this episode that i felt it contributed overall as a good you know good parts to it it was Jola kind of advancing things along, even though it kind of felt a little bit stupid of her to say it, but ultimately she had a reason to say it. She felt cocky. She felt like all their friends are captured anyway, so there ain't nothing they're going to be able to do when she said, oh, it was a hoax all along. Don't Flamingo was never planning on doing any negotiations with you. So while it was kind of like, really, Jola, you're telling them that? It was mainly due to arrogance and cockiness and believing like, Don't Flamingo already has all this wrapped up. Your friends ain't going to be able to do shit. They're captured. So... It was advancing in that area with them like, oh, fuck, you know, we need to hurry up. But at the same time, it was like, Jolie, you fucked up big time. And then also you had Law using Room to escape yet again from the clutches of Doflamingo and Fujitora. And ultimately, aside from those two things and the very ending, which I wish that ending would have been a, a part of a different episode or something. Because our ending was phenomenal. And I was just like, oh, my God, the last minute of this episode was fucking, oh, yes, 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 yes. But one minute of an episode can't save the entire episode of just fodder and filler and just slow pacing up the yin yang it was just like no what are you doing sporty i think you all know by now i fucking love one piece it's amazing incredible but what they did with this episode between the animation being lackluster the art wasn't all that it was just like what is Toei doing? It really gets me worried with all these breaks that Oda keeps on taking. The manga is getting closer and closer to the anime. And I fear that we will get more episodes like this in the future where Rebecca's fighting more fodder. Cavendish is fighting fodder. And it's just like, oh my gosh. Like, I thought the ending of this episode was brilliant. And that's what kind of even upsets me more. It was like, that was such an amazing setup. But for the most part, the rest of the episode felt like it didn't contribute jack to the story it was like jola fucked up law got away again and sanji showed up and kicked off flamingo and it was like those three elements were good but the rest of the episode was just like lackluster and disappointing and i hate to say it but it just really felt that way i can't wait for next week's episode and i'm really hoping that next week's episode kicks this week's episode's ass up and fucking down the block because you got sanji baby you got fucking sanji about to go in that's a great fucking setup at the end but it was just like too late in the game to really say that you know this episode was amazing or good or anything because it was just last minute where he showed up and it was like next week's episode probably gonna be fucking awesome and i can't wait for it this week's episode it really wasn't all that it was just disappointing uninteresting i honestly was falling asleep while watching the episode and just keeping it real with you guys so as a whole i'm gonna give this episode a three out of ten it had some stuff, especially the ending going for it, but for the most part, it was just a lot of filler, a lot of fodder, and the filler was just mindless fighting, and once again, Rebecca, like, looking sad, and she got her back against the wall, or she got her tits against the wall, it's like, come on, Toei. But all that aside, let me know what you guys think, first of all, you hype for next week, though, Flamingo versus Sanji, that is something I can't fucking wait to see, we're getting a move on things in that aspect, I mean, shit is really heating up, no pun intended there, so can't wait for next week and i'm just gonna forget that this episode happened for the most part but that's all i have for this review thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you liked anything i had to say or enjoyed the video drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed you can do so as well that'd be awesome i'm for world and as always people have an awesome day